Okay, you're interested in learning how to use the oyster farming app to help you determine how many seed you have here. Here at the Auburn University Shellfish Lab, we use a weighing method, but this will also, the app will also accept the same types of measurements for volumetric displacement or even wet pack volume if that's what you like to do. So you've got a bunch of seed and you don't want to count all these seed. Um, you you uh, made sure that these are drained so they're not dripping wet. You don't want to weigh water. Uh, you don't want to displace water. So you, we'll cover all the details of how to weigh seed in another video. Here we're going to work on how you would use the app. So I've got my seed. I've got a large scale like this. I'm going to get my total weight in my uh, of my delivery. You don't have to use metric. I just find that the math is a lot easier instead of trying to convert pounds and ounces. Let me get all the seed out here. All right. All right. So in my app, I'm going to open it up. Uh, I'm going to open up Oyster Farming. I'm going to go to the seed delivery. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it Test. Let's see. There we go. Test. And then uh, I put in the total weight here, which is, in our case, 2,525 grams. And then the question is going to be how many samples we're going to take. The app allows you to take up to six. We're going to put five today. All right. So of these 2,525 grams, uh, how many oysters do we have per gram? You're going to want some type of smaller scale that does a more precise measurement. So I'm going to use the one we have here. I'm going to zero this cup out so it's not measuring the cup back to zero. Then I'm going to reach into my sample. I'm going to grab some oysters. I'm going to put them in here. All right. All right. So in this case, sample number one, I know weighs 2.02 grams. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to repeat this five times. Okay. At this point, I've gone through and I've counted the live singles in each of these subsamples. So I can go to my app where I've entered the total weight of the entire batch, and now I'm going to use the same app to now enter in my subsamples. So I'm going to enter in the weight for subsample 2, which was 2.02. I'm then going to enter the number of animals, uh, 68 live singles. For sample number 2, I enter the weight of 3.09 grams, and then I enter 101 animals. For sample 3, I enter the weight 1.64 with 56 live single oysters in it. For sample 4, 2.56 grams, had 83 live singles in it. And then finally in sample 5, the 2.27 grams had 78 live single oysters. These are pretty well graded, so they're all around the same size. You don't see a lot of variation here, and you can see that here in the calculations. So it lets us know that the average estimate of seed per gram is about 33.46 seed per gram. It gives us an average weight of the seed. You have to take that with a grain of salt because there may be things other than oysters in here, including a number of doubles that could skew that. It gives us a measure of the standard deviation and the coefficient of variation, the upper confidence limit and the lower confidence limit. But what a lot of growers are going to want to know is what the average is. And so in this case, these seed are predicted to have uh, 84,476 live single oysters in the sample. I do have confidence limits on that, so with 90%, 95% confidence, the app tells me that it's somewhere between 82,761 and 86,191 oysters that I got in this. So um, that is a record that I can now save, uh, and then I can either send that to colleagues, I can send that to the seed supplier, or I can just keep that for my own records.